on the staff of the Camden City Garden Club celebrated 19 years of helping to grow their communities through gardening and educating residents about good nutrition. Lisa thomas Laurie reports that for nearly two decades they've also been learning valuable life lessons. They celebrated on Camden's waterfront by sharing a healthy meal filled with vegetables and fruits they grew. To see kids that have never even planted a seed and then nurturing that seed into a plant and harvesting the fruit and cooking it and eating it, it's the whole lifestyle that we're trying to teach them. This year there are 17 teens and young adults enrolled in the program. They garden but also gain job experience while earning a paycheck. More than 300 have participated over the years. And uh, all but one have graduated high school. Here's a young lady who has come full circle with this program. Correct. Noemi Soria participated in the youth program here from 2001 to 04. And you went to Lincoln University, graduated from Lincoln, and made your way back here. It was always my safe haven, and I wanted to come back and just bring what I learned back to the youth and kind of keep that cycle going. Joseph Camacho and his twin brother, Anthony Jr., have been with the program for two years. I like just doing what I had to do to uh, fix the garden. DeAndre Dixon came from Camden County. Tech. I understand you're one of the favorite people here. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, I like to work here. Okay. It's fun. And in kindergarten. The corn, asparagus, squash, fruit, peppers, and tomatoes all came from the Beckett Street Garden in South Camden. When they grow it and they see it and they realize where it's coming from and what it is, they're more likely to eat it. Mayor Dana Red distributed certificates to the youth staff in honor of their service to their communities. It may not be expected by society of kids from Camden, but they can and will succeed if given just a slight chance. The program sponsors who understand that include Campbell Soup and Wholesome Industries. Lisa Thomas-Laurie, Channel 6, Action News.